no brands are using YouTube. Like, it's insane. Everyone's just focused on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, but no brands. Companies have actually tapped into the power of YouTube. And that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about today. If you don't spend 10 minutes to go ahead and watch this video, you guys will be really behind because you're not tapping into this massive market that allows you to get cheap cost of purchases, free organic traffic, evergreen traffic, massive retargeting capabilities, and just overall a grass on YouTube and Google. That's why you wanna go ahead and watch today's video. This is a meeting between me and one of Sydney's largest independent marketing agency, and I go ahead and consult them on why I believe YouTube is so important for brands, how I've been using YouTube for my brands, my personal brands, my products, my e-commerce stores, and how they should do the same. And I actually go ahead and show them how to go ahead and build the team, what would happen in the long run if they go ahead and build this team, how I could go ahead and get everything done with just one employee, I review everything. Before we get to it, I'm gonna start by announcing last week's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses, consulting course with me. The winners here, if you guys want to qualify or to do the job, comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into today's video. I've been focusing a lot on YouTube recently. Um, what people, a lot of brands, they're just focusing on Facebook, Instagram, they're posting content every day, they're posting stories, but the half-life of that content is that you post it, people only see it for like 12 hours and that post gets disappeared and maybe one out of like a thousand people might scroll down and click on that post to see it. So the half-life of that content is like 12 hours. Half-life of content on Facebook is like two, three hours. Um, half-life of content on LinkedIn is probably like, you know, two, three days. The, life, the half-life of a content on YouTube is very long. It's like forever. Basically, you know, I have brands, I have this sort of music chest brand where we sell music boxes for different songs. Mm -hmm. And I would have a music video from two years ago that's still making our sales till today because it's organically getting views through the YouTube algorithm. Now, for example, let's say I have a Frozen music chest. Frozen 2 comes out. All of a sudden, YouTube starts promoting my Frozen music box video and that goes viral on YouTube and I'm getting free organic traffic and sales from that and if you're posting every single day this just compounds on youtube and no one is just everyone's posting like you're putting hours into these daily content images that you're putting on instagram but it only lasts for 12 months we could sort of spend a bit more time put together a short video put on instagram put on youtube i mean and have it make money and gain you traffic and build your brand awareness for years so, are people buying in Australia through YouTube? Yes. What are the metrics on that? Like, uh, is it is it a high rate of purchase so, through YouTube? Here's an example. There's this channel called The Gentleman's Gazette. It's like a men's fashion YouTube channel. Um, they have 800,000 subscribers. And that's a sort of mid-sized following. They're not too big, um, but sort of run by this one guy. And he has a men's fashion store. Every month he gets 2.5 million views right organically no pay like that's organic free views and at you know 15 dollars cpms that's you know pretty cheap you know we might be paying 20 dollars cpms to get our ads out to people on facebook at you know a 15 dollar cpm he's making nearly forty thousand dollars worth of free high quality intent driven traffic because these are people that are searching for men right. fashion. Yeah. So it's getting $40,000 worth of free traffic. And that's what people aren't doing. Okay, cool. Um, and yeah, so similar to Instagram, what's more important is remarketing to viewers and subscribers. No one does this, I have no idea why, but I would grow a YouTube following, I'd remarket the users that's watched any videos of the past 180 days, um, I'd remarket them with YouTube in pre-roll ads, mm -hmm. YouTube discovery ads, um, even Google dynamic ads. And those convert insanely high. Like I'll get cost per conversions at like, you know, three to five dollars, whereas Facebook retargeting might you get a cost of per conversion of 10 to 15. Yeah. Um, so that's like amazing. And I think people aren't building YouTube channels for the remarketing purpose. So a lot of money is being left on the table. Like if Logan Paul, who's like making, I don't know, I think he's making 15 to 20 million a year off his clothing brand, off his channel, just like 
people just watching his YouTube video and he's having to like plug in every single video, visit my store. Yeah. If he went ahead and remarket to his millions of viewers, just like a pre-roll ad of his, you know, clothing brand, yeah. he would make so much more money. Okay. So that's been awesome. And then, you know, um, I've also been playing around with Google Shopping. Google Shopping is very good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, CPMs are super low. It's like 3 to $5 to like Australia, US, Canada. Um, cost of purchases are very slow, very low. And it's a nice, slow and steady stream of sales. Um, so if people are searching up your brand, your product pops up, the image, the cost, and they could just sort of purchase it there. In um, Google? Correct. So if I, like, give me an example now. Um, search like, like Music Box. That top bar where you see a bunch of products, that's Google Shopping. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. And I think like every brand should at least yeah, right. get okay, their cool. brand on that. It's like, probably takes, you know, half a day to set up, but once you set it up, it's like, you know, extra five to 10% of revenue, profitably. And that's the video. As you can see, I revealed literally everything. There's so much content in that. Like this is the stuff people pay thousands and thousands of dollars just to learn you guys get it completely for free so all i ask is a simple like of this video hit the subscribe button i don't sell you guys anything there's nothing in the description like i don't upsell you guys anything these videos are completely value filled and all i ask is for you to do those simple things so hopefully you guys enjoy today's video don't worry there's many more of these videos to come this is a 45 minute consulting session i had and i'm chopping it up into many different relevant topics for you guys completely for free so get ready for more of these interview segments coming out soon so be sure to be subscribed hit the notification bell so you get those future updates and links to the first episode are in the description below put the card up here of the first part and i'll be seeing you guys soon peace